The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone who the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples, in private he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. I was thinking this morning that Jesus had a problem. He never grew up. He was very attached to his father and mother. And yet, there's a lot of wisdom to that. It's that unity with the Father that was the fountain of the Spirit of the Lord resting upon him. And you saw that visibly in the baptism where the Spirit came down upon him. And the Father embraced him and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I well pleased. Jesus was rooted in his identity with his daddy. They were close. And that kind of unity kept him in consort with the Trinity, with his Father. Gospel of John says it beautifully. I cannot do anything. A son cannot do anything on his own but only what he sees the Father doing. It's a sad day when children grow up and grow out of their relationship with their parents. It's a sad day when that happens. And I was thinking about this morning when I saw the snow. I went out early to the gym this morning, and uh, I've got my snow tires on. All-wheel drive, no problem. And I was thinking, my dad told me never to wait for the storm to put your snow tires on. All kinds of good advice. I was thinking, and I was, I was meditating on all this this morning, and I was thinking about um, every Saturday, uh, one of us, one, one of us uh, the boys in the family, was assigned to assist my father in working around the house. Um, we had an apartment, we had a three-decker apartment house, and my, we, my parents were the landlords, and there was always a plumbing or electricity issue or something. And so, you know, I learned how to do some electrical work, I learned some basic plumbing. And at the time, I was thinking, hey, I'd rather be outside playing, but I was learning all these skills. Ever since then, I always have a small toolbox wherever I go, when at whatever house I've lived in. I don't have to wait for Guy, our... Uh, facilities manager to come into the rectory to fix things. I can take care of that myself. Um, and I don't mind doing that. But these are the things that you learn from your father. Jesus was in union with his father learning things also. And this whole list of wisdom, understanding, knowledge, counsel, this is all the things that we learn from being in union with our heavenly father. It's called prayer. It's called the sacramental life. Jesus gives praise to the Father because 
These things are hidden from the wise and the learned, the people who think they know everything. But he's revealed them to the childlike, that is, the devoted children who the world thinks is our childish, but yet they're always seeking the wisdom of their heavenly Father to navigate through life in truth. No one knows the Father except the Son, and no one knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son, and no one knows the Son except the Father. I was thinking about that also. He knows the truth about us. He knows the truth about who we are. He knows the truth about where we're going. He knows us better than we know ourselves. And this is why we stay attached to him. The opening prayer that, we, uh, that was assigned for the day, I read the prayer for St. Francis Xavier, but the opening prayer that was assigned for the Mass of the day included this phrase in, that kind of sums things up this morning. In our trials, grant us, O Lord, your compassionate help. But you have to go your, to your Father to get that help. Let